Hey, rock star moms. We are back here for a self-care expert video. I know you haven't gotten one in a little bit, so hopefully you'll take advantage of this new one. We have Jennifer Sherwood here with us, and I am super excited to have her share her self-care tip with us. So Jennifer, please tell the mamas a little bit about you and who it is that you serve. Sure. First of all, thanks so much for having me, Kelly. I'm really excited to be here. It's always fun to talk to you, and I'm just excited to be with your moms. I mean, I'm just thinking about how chaotic this pandemic has been, especially for women and moms. So to be able to offer a self-care tip right now is amazing. So, um, okay, who am I? So I'm Jen Sherwood. You just said that. Uh, mm -hmm. I am, this is my favorite way to describe myself. I am a recovering people pleaser perfectionist, bend myself into a pretzel to make other people happy until the point where I just got miserable and, or was miserable and got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I mean, I had this really great life, two healthy, beautiful babies, a good marriage, and I was killing myself to do everything how I thought I was supposed to. So thankfully, that is not the case anymore. These days, I'm pretty much go with the flow. I am a life coach, I am a speaker, and I lead women's groups and retreats, and my life is so much better now, you guys, since I let go of all that other stuff. And really what it boils down to is I help women stop beating the crap out of themselves so they can get relief from exhaustion and overwhelm and have a life they love, not just tolerate. So that's the gist of who I am and what I do. Awesome. Thanks. And what is your self-care tip for our moms today? So going back to what I started with around the pandemic, I, I really think that all of this time, sheltering, wearing masks, being more careful, like it just is putting this pressure on us. And, you know, we've all seen the news that the, the pressure on women and moms is ju just horrific. I mean, women are leaving the workforce. And so I, first, I just want to say whatever you moms are feeling right now, it's totally normal. Like this is unprecedented what we're going through and what is expected of us right now to be, you know, the, the, whatever the role is you play in your family, the person who organizes everything. We've always been that, but now you've got to figure out homeschool and how to keep them in where they need to be and maybe sit with them during classes while I don't know, you know, your normal life, running your home, maybe you're working outside the home and it just is so much. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling stressed, you're normal. And I have a little tip for helping with that. And this is what I want to say today, that taking care of yourself, I am so, let me just back up. I am so certain that Kelly and every other guest who's been on here has said this before, but self-care is not, not, not selfish. When you take the time to take care of yourself, you show up as a way better version of yourself and you get to be in your life the way you want to be. So here's a really simple way to do that. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling stressed, a lot of the times what is happening is you're worrying about getting something done or what needs to happen. And that's like thinking about the future, worrying about the future, that hasn't even happened yet, right? Or you're beating yourself up for something you did do, you didn't do in the past, how you said something, how you could have said, maybe you snapped at your kids. So that's like thinking about something that's already happened. You can't do anything about what already happened. The future hasn't happened yet. So what's going on is right here and right now. And if you can bring yourself back into this moment and pay attention to what's going on right here, it's going to help you feel so much better. So here's one way to do it. I like to use, yeah, you can see my fingers. I like to use your fingers as a way to move through this and it's just simply breathing. So in and out, ready? Next finger. Last time, in and out three fingers. Do you feel how, I hope the moms are doing it with us because just do it physiologically in your body. Taking the time to slow down your breath actually lowers your blood pressure, lowers your stress, 
brings you right here in this moment where all that chaos that you're worrying about maybe isn't even happening. So come back to your breath, lower your blood pressure, get present today, and then you will be in a, such a better place to respond. So let's talk about whether the chaos is happening right now. Maybe your three-year-old is having a meltdown right next to you. Three breaths, ladies, let him melt down. And you can do this. Maybe it's your teenager who's melting down and you don't want to do this next to your face. You don't have to. You can put, it, put your hand in your pocket. Put your hand down at your side. No one will know that you're doing a breathing exercise. Heck, you could do it if you're, oh, you know, the dreaded, you get called into your boss's office or HR or whatever. Just use your fingers. Do your breathing. It will just help to calm that all down. And then you're less likely to snap or say something you might regret. It just gives you a little pause, a breath, three actually, yeah. to come from a better place. So let me take a breath, Kelly, and let you respond to this. I, I really hope this feels helpful for your moms. Yeah, I, I definitely felt relaxed when I did it with you. So I definitely think that as a practice, it could be helpful because I can have the tendency to react quickly. Yes. <laughs> so it's a practice of pausing and giving yourself that time to breathe it out and then moving forward um, in, that, in that attitude of calm, not in that yeah. attitude of, I'm going to get crazy right now. <laughs> so, what was yeah. it? Maybe 10 seconds, 12 seconds to do that, but it makes a huge difference. And when we were talking about the idea of bringing a self-care tip here, my thought is women are really busy and overloaded right now. They just need something quick, simple, and doable, right? I'm not asking your ladies to, well, I don't want to say anything that's time consuming because I don't want to disparage anything anybody else has recommended, but this is just very quick simple. And like you said, if you practice it, it's going to have better effects the more that you do it. Yeah. And I love that you're talking about being in the present moment because that's our step this month. Oh, um, perfect. And uh, so it just kind of brought it all around and together for me um, because uh, we're focusing on being in the present. And um, so that was, that was a, a great tool for both. Yeah. For yeah. our moms and being present. So uh, that was really cool. Um, so anything else that you want to share with us? I would just say, uh, speaking of the present moment, just as, as a reminder, I said this as I was talking in the beginning, but maybe to leave as a takeaway as well, that usually what we're worried about is not happening in that present moment. We are worrying about it. And if you bring yourself into the present moment, because if we're worrying about something that happened before or might happen in the future, you're totally missing that moment of right here and right now. And that little three-year-old that's having the tantrum on the floor, well, you might not like him very much while he's having it. He and whatever, whoever else makes up your family is probably the reason you do everything that you do. And so anytime that we're not engaged and we're out in the future or back or we're just not here, it's time we're missing out with them. So staying mindful, it's not usually happening right there and we don't wanna miss out on the people we love or what we love to do. Yeah, I, when you were saying that, it was funny um, to me, my, my mind flashed to, uh, you know, when they're older, you can always talk about that tantrum on the floor to their friends and it makes it <laughs> fun. Mm. I, listen, I have a 17 year old and a 20 year old and I love to bring up those. I mean, it's like, it's like our, our just desserts for having gone through the tantrums is that we get to bring it up later in good jest, in good fun. Yeah, I love it. Mm -mm. I give my, uh, I was just giving my 18 year old a hard time yesterday about him giving me black eyes by throwing his head back when he was six months old. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. We do, we go through these things and you know, just for anybody who's right in the thick of that right now, who maybe just has really young kids, you will get to this point where you get to laugh when you look back. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, you know, I have a, a wide range of kids. 
I have a four year old to an 18 year old and he's an adult legally, but he's still very much a child. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and stuff. So it is, it's interesting how, um, how I interact with each one of them differently. Mm, and yeah. my patience level is different with each one of them because of their age and their understanding. Um, right of, of things, but I can definitely be more patient with all of them. So I feel like this exercise to get me to pause, stay in the moment, breathe, you know, um, kind of, you know, lower that, that initial, you know, intensity of the situation can definitely support me in showing up more as the mom I want to be. Right. And hey, Kelly, while we're spreading patience around to our kids, let's make sure we give some to ourselves too. Because, sure. you know, we're probably not very patient with ourselves either. And that's what I mean when I say women are beating the crap out of themselves, you know, in their minds. That's who I help. So a little self-compassion would yeah, be great. Yeah, definitely. That it definitely comes with self-care. Mm. Yes. Yes. Self-care it all, all, all of that support. For yourself. <laughs> It all supports the efforts we're trying to make. It is not selfish. Can we just hammer that that topic? Yeah, it's not selfish. It's vital. And so, you know, thank you for giving me this opportunity to share. I hope, you know, even if one woman walks away from this, like, oh, wow, this really helps, then I feel like we did a good thing. Yeah, definitely. I love doing these interviews with our self-care experts because uh, I get all of these great tips and I get to share them with all of you. So thank you moms for listening. Thank you, Jennifer, for being here with us. Thank you. uh, Until next time, everybody, remember that you are a rock star and we are all practicing at being rock stars at taking care of ourselves. Bye moms.